the basic to more intermediate when you become beyond the basics and more into the advanced area of witchcraft you understand that it's not just the planet in that day hello beautiful creatures welcome to my channel i am aradia the witch of dark light and i hope you all are doing well, <clears throat> it seems like it's been forever that I've uh, made a video here on this channel, um, but this video is going to be about me going over sharing what advanced witchcraft is, in my opinion, and some of the things that I will be going over in the new series. So this is kind of an intro to the series, and I'm going to also share with you some of the things and changes that I've made. We have uh, Pluto in Aquarius right now ma making its transition at the beginning stages of Aquarius. So for the next 20 years, this is like a big shift in whatever area of life that is for you and for me that is my career house. So I've been making a lot of changes with my Patreon and YouTube channel membership. So stay tuned for some of those things that I'm going to be sharing with you um, after I go over what advanced witchcraft is to me. So I'm going to be going over some of the topics that I will be discussing in this series. And I'm not sure how long the series is going to be. Uh, it depends on um, how many topics and the response that I get uh, from sharing these videos. So I will be going over uh, each topic and then with that topic I will do my best to apply the methods and show you what that looks like uh, in a more advanced uh, practice. Can't have one without the other the dark without the light. So first, what even is advanced witchcraft? Now, I think there are uh, different perspectives on this. And for me, I feel like advanced witchcraft is, you know, beyond the basics. Meaning after you have uh, understood and worked with some of the basic elements that are um, considered to be foundations in a witchcraft practice. And by foundation, I mean maybe you have an altar, maybe you have certain rituals that you do daily or weekly, uh, maybe you celebrate the new moon or full moon or both. So you begin to learn about the lunar phases, you begin to learn about the Sabbaths and holidays. So this is what uh, basically, and it depends on your magical system, your, uh, the, your culture, all of these things. But some of what I've just mentioned are generally uh, things that a solitary uh, practitioner would embark on. Now, after you've learned all these things, what this looks like when it becomes beyond the basics, right? I don't because I don't want to uh, stick on calling it advanced because it makes it seems like it's this this elusive uh, thing to uh, reach and get to, but it really isn't. So, first, a lot of people that I know of feel like advanced witchcraft is leaning more toward the darker part of witchcraft. And I, I see that that is a lot of what people think that advanced witchcraft can be. And then you have some that may even be beyond the basics in their practice and not even realize that they are um, working within the realms of advanced witchcraft. So what that may look like in um, example would be after, after you've uh, understood what candle magic is, right? You've, you're in the basics and you understand the colors of the candles. You understand the attributes 
of how to use the candles in whatever magic it is that you are casting. You understand how to dress the candle with the different herbs and botanicals and you and the oils, all of these things. And you understand how to set your intentions all in this beginning part of the practice. And you even learn what days of the week may be best. So you tap into um, a little bit of planetary magic. Now, when it becomes advanced, this is when sometimes you see me, if you watch my videos where I uh, share candle magic, you'll see at some point when I light the candle or before I light the candle, you'll see me kind of pushing my hands down into the candle. Now, this is where I believe we're going beyond the basics. So what that is doing, and you hear me say we're going to imbue the candle, push our energy into the candle. Now, as someone that may be more advanced, you understand where these energies are coming from. You understand how to tap into these energies. So being advanced means you take what you have learned in the basic part of your craft and you understand how to master the art of your magic and by mastering the art of your magic means you have to go into more um, the philosophies and the esoteric knowledge and going into your your um, the unconscious and subconscious realms to tap into the power within to help add that more advanced layer to whatever magic it is that you're casting. So when you understand how to tap into your energy, you can bring it up and access it to push it, that energy into the candle. It then at that point is becoming more, um, leaning toward more advanced. So that is an example of how uh, advanced magic uh, may look like. And I think it's kind of difficult, and I'm going to try in this series, but I think it's kind of difficult to kind of pinpoint, well, this is advanced magic because you're doing the same thing, but you're just doing it on another level, meaning what your intention looks like and how you apply it. In the beginning stages, when you set your intention, you may not even understand what to draw on, where that intention, the energy from that intention is coming from, the gnosis of that intention. You just know that you need to tell the magic this is what you want it to do. But when you become more advanced, you understand the words of power. You understand how to chant those words and vibrate those words. So it's just simply, and it's really not simply because when it becomes advanced, that means you're really going deeper into your inner power. And sometimes that's not a pretty process because this involves going deeper into um, understanding things that may be preventing you from going to the next level. So you have to move all of those cobwebs and shadows and the blocks um, out of the way. And this is a part of advanced witchcraft because when you are basic, I don't say you are basic, but when you are working with in the realms of more basic witchcraft, you are just applying the methods that you are taught to do when casting that magic, but um, not necessarily, you know, you may not have worked on things that may hinder you from making it manifest um, at the level that you need to, it to manifest for. So understanding what advanced witchcraft is, I think is really the first step, and, and that's important, so that you know how to identify it. Because you need to understand what it is so that you um, can kind of gauge where you are 
in your practice. Because a lot of times, like I, I mentioned, we may not even have realized the point when that has shifted to more advanced because we all have a different perception of what advanced witchcraft may be. So in this series that um, I will be doing, I will go over the first video will be about planetary magic going into astrological magic. But it's going to be a little bit about me explaining how planetary magic can be more of the basic to more intermediate, but when you become beyond the basics and more into the advanced area of witchcraft, you understand that it's not just the planet and that day and the hour. You understand there's more involved and there's more going on in the cosmos that may affect your magic. So that would be the first video that I will go over and um, I will do my best in each video of this series to share with you what I believe the topic is and apply um, the methods of doing it and showing you how it's done in a more advanced way. So that is kind of an intro to the advanced uh, witchcraft series. And I, I was toggling between calling it Beyond the Basics and Advanced Witchcraft, but I landed on calling it Advanced Witchcraft series. Um, so stay tuned for all of those videos uh, to come. I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure how many is going to be in the series, but um, I will continue to do it um, as long as I have topics to do for it. So the next thing I wanted to talk about is over on my Patreon, and this is not just to talk about Patreon, but to kind of talk about um, where I'm going in my magic, and I kind of mentioned that a little bit with the 12 Days of Yule um, videos and also on my other channel. So the reason why I decided to do the more advanced witchcraft series is has something to do with all of that. So I wanted to begin to share, you know, when you, as a creator, when you find yourself doing things, um, kind of, especially if it's the same thing, you want to kind of evolve. So what it is that I'm doing is involve, evolving into sharing more advanced uh, magic in the occult. So what I have done, and I've spoken with um, some of the people over on Patreon, and I will be sharing that in a, um, a little bit more over there, but I have um, paused that Patreon account because I have created another that will be um, up and available in a matter of a few days, but I ch shifted what it is that I wanted to work on and it is more advanced. So it's going to go into the new Patreon, it's going to go into more things like Tantra, accessing the power within and methods to do that. Of course, working with demons and angels and demons, all of the ancient uh, occult knowledge, learning some of those things. And um, I even have a section on that Patreon that will be kind of a library of uh, PDFs of books, old books that are now on PDF and uh, different things. So it's going to be kind of like an occult library, but it's the new Patreon is going to be called Dark Venusian Occult. So the name kind of tells you where the direction that I'm going. And it is more for the dark um, feminine divine and uh, learning how to tap into that power. I'll share more uh, details on that, but that is where my path is going. So that pay the current Patreon is no longer available. Um, for the my current patrons, uh, I let them know that it is 
going to be suspended, but they it is still available for them to kind of go through all of the information, videos, and uh, everything that is still on there. And also, I have just created, finally, I've been kind of tossing, you know, this idea around. I have created a YouTube channel membership because of me uh, closing down that Patreon. I wanted to still um, have a space for some of those things that I still that I went over and and did over on uh, the Patreon that is no longer available. But on my new YouTube channel memberships, I will be doing a lot of lives and that will be uh, consisting of um, actual lives of me doing uh, virtual, full moon, new moon, candle magic, Q and A's, but there will be a lot of lives um, over on my uh, channel memberships. And that will be YouTube lives, that will be Zooms, where we all um, can have the chance to participate. But that is the direction of <laughs> my path. So it, it's now uh, YouTube memberships and it is now new Patreon and uh, yeah, the new advanced witchcraft series. I've been working on a lot and um, I've also been getting back more active in the uh, witchy community, vampire community. Um, I've actually just, um, we just uh, had an event that we went to that we were a part of and we uh, were a part of the ritual which kind of um, ignited my passion again back for doing ritual in that way. Um, so we, you know, I had fun doing that and I have another event that we have to do ritual for. So this, going forward, um, my path is more delving, going deeper and hopefully some of you will come along with me. Um, those of you that want to go beyond the basics and you're looking for something more dark, darker, deeper, uh, something, you know, you're sometimes you yearn for it and you don't even know what it is because you are ready to move past what it is that you, you've already been doing for a while and you need more. So this is my endeavors to bring more of the magic and help myself because, you know, I'm a student and a teacher, as we all are. It will be a community of us working on the deeper mysteries of magic. This is what I wanted to share with you. And I, you know, I wanted to let you know what my thoughts are, understand Understandings are an opinion is on what advanced witchcraft it witchcraft is and what it is that I will be sharing with you. I will be sharing the links to all the new things. I will share the link to my YouTube channel membership. It's currently just one tier. I think that's what it's called, but it's currently just one tier. It's not expensive at all. I'll put the link to that in the description of this video so you can go over and check that out i believe the next the first live that i will be doing is the full moon in virgo so jump on there and um see what that's about so i hope to see you there until the next video i love you all and into the shadows mm -hmm.